Good evening, everyone. Hello, hello, hello. Nothing. I don't understand. Hello, hello, teacher. Hi. Hello, how are you guys? Good evening, everyone. Hi, teacher. Hi, Christian, Jorge, Brian, Mayra, Jancy, hello, and uh, Veronica. <laughs> good evening. Good evening, good evening. I'm trying to make the, the, the stream work. I don't know. There you go. Better. It still looks the same. So, lo mismo. <laughs> All right, people, it is Monday. It's the best day of the week. El mejor día de la semana es lunes. Right, right. Don't you think so? Uh huh. <laughs> what happened, Jorge? Don't you agree? <laughs> uh, no, I don't agree. Why not? It's Monday. <laughs> <clears throat> it's so hard. Um, Wake up. <laughs> start. Yes. When after Sunday, right? After Sunday. Well, uh, in my case, you know, I personally love or like or prefer um Monday. Yes, Monday. I don't know, but Monday is just like it gives me a positive vibe. You know, I feel I feel happy. I feel cool. That's me. That's me. All right, Monday. <laughs> right. Yes. All right, uh, Kristen, I got your message. Thank you for letting me know. And uh, Veronica, hello, and Marvin, welcome, guys. Thank you Thank for you, joining. How are you? How how is uh how is Monday going? Uh, I'm great. <laughs> I I have I have the celebrated celebrated for my. Partners, e eating the um, the cake. A what? I sure. E e <laughs> comimos pero pasado lo quiero decir. We ate. We ate. We ate cake. Share the 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 moments and what with the team. All right, all right. That sounds good. That sounds good. That sounds good. That's a good Monday. <laughs> all right. Andy, hello. Welcome. Thank you, Raquel. Excellent people. Marvin, hello. How are you, Marvin? I'm fine, teacher. And you? I am fine. Thank you for asking. How is Monday going for you? Mm, another Monday. <laughs> Sorry? A normal day. A normal day. Okay. Okay. That's okay. That's okay. That's fine. All right. Raquel, are you there? Yes. Hi, how are you? I'm fine. Thank you. I'm fine. Thank you for asking. How is Monday going? Hi, hi. Yes. Myra, hello. Andy. Denise, welcome. I know you are not really available for participation, but hello. <laughs> hello, hello. Good evening, teacher. Hi, Myra. How are you? Mm. <laughs> I don't know. Wow, it's Monday. Yo, it's Monday. It's Monday. Yes, I know. Monday is celebration day. Después de descansar, después de dormir, de dormir sin el sábado y domingo, venimos con energía al 100% en este momento. Yeah, sure, sure. Exactly, right, right. Jorge dice que no. Jorge disagrees. Yes. It's okay, people. I understand. I understand. It's difficult to wake up on Monday. Yes. After Saturday and Sunday, you know, resting, sleeping, being in your house, relaxing. And uh, Monday, oh. We're going back to the routine, right? It's it's kind of difficult, yes. Andy, hello. Hello, teacher. Hi, good evening. How, how is everything? How is Monday going? I'm good. Good? 
yes, go and here in my home. Okay, in your house. All right, all right. That's okay. Excellent. Good, good that you're in your house. I'm, I'm glad you're in your house. There are some people over here that are not in the house yet, and I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> That's for, for Denise and uh and uh, Kristen. They're not in their houses right now, which is okay. People, let me tell you that today is the class number 18, tomorrow 19, and on Wednesday, it will be class number 20. So this means that we're going to finish the module on Wednesday. Yes? I'm guessing, I'm guessing you have already received an email on your emails, <laughs> an email on your emails about the survey that we're going to have on Wednesday. Yes, the survey. Have you gotten, gotten the email yet? The email? No, teacher. Not uh, yet? Okay. I received a, a, a WhatsApp message. Yes, yes, I agree. I'm sorry? And WhatsApp message. Oh, yeah. With, with the survey. Yes, you can you can get the link. You can get the link through email or through WhatsApp. Yes. Yes, WhatsApp. If you if you don't have it yet, you will have it tomorrow. You will get it tomorrow. Okay. Yes. Well, what what I want what I want right now, I'm gonna let you guys know uh through the WhatsApp group that uh on Wednesday I will not allow or it is not allowed to be as a listener on 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 Wednesday. Okay. Because we have to do the survey, everyone has to do the survey, and we gotta do it together. And uh, if you are as a listener, then it's it's impossible to do it. But that will be on Wednesday, all right? On Wednesday, yes. And uh, well, I apologize for Friday because on Friday I have I have very bad connection. Uh, I was not in my house. I told you there was a blackout. There was no electricity service. I had to go to a different place, and in this place, the, the internet was not really uh, fast. Or maybe it was fast, but there were many people connected, so that's why it, it was kind of slow. So I apologize for that. But today, I'm in my house. My internet is fine. I have no problems, and uh, we're, we're ready to start. Yes. And it's Monday. <clears throat> and it's Monday, exactly. Yes. Wow. What, what a good Monday. What a good Monday. Yes. <laughs> uh, you don't you don't agree before. You don't agree with me, huh? <laughs> and what, what happened on Wednesday is the last day. On Wednesday, yes. On Wednesday will be the last day. On Wednesday. Yes. And uh, I was telling you that you might get well, I think you got it today. If you haven't gotten the message through WhatsApp or through email. You're going to get it tomorrow. The message contains a link about a survey that we're going to do on Wednesday. Yes, you cannot do the survey today or tomorrow. The survey has to be done on Wednesday with everybody here. Yes. Sandra, hello, welcome. Thank you for joining. Are you okay? <laughs> She's happy, right? Look, she's happy. She's happy. Are you I, happy? This, are you happy this Monday? You're very bad. Why? <laughs> Did you have to say? <laughs> Why? Why am I bad? <laughs> Why? What's wrong? Are you okay? <laughs> When your 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 leg is asleep. sleeping, sleeping, ah. her leg is sleeping. You don't know because you. Uh... I understand. I understand. I'm sorry, Sandra. Walk, camine. The age, the age. <laughs> yes. Okay. Let me take attendance. I know not everybody is here yet. But uh, some of you are already here. Let me just take attendance. Ana Victoria Galang. I think she's not going to join today's class because she's not in her house. She's in a different place. Andy Ernesto Martinez. Present teacher. Thank you, Andy. Brian David Ramirez. Present teacher. 
Yes, thank you, Brian Carlos uh, Carlos Alberto Orrego. No, Carlos Eliezer Dimas. No, Cristian Alexander Rivera. Yes. Denise Alejandra is there too. Tia de Amilet Maravilla. Edwin Heriberto Delgado. Ismael Ernesto Boyar. Jorge Ernesto Hernández Durán. Present teacher. Thank you. Marvin Josué Cortés. Present teacher. Thank you. Mayra Elizabeth Lazo. Present teacher. Thank you. Paola Geraldine Santa Maria. She's not here. Raquel Elizabeth de la Rosa Rodríguez. Present. Thank you. Sandra Yvette Mendoza. Present teacher. All right. Sara Rachel Salazar de Cosme. No. Veronica Lisset. For I'm present. Okay, thank you. And uh, Jancy Andrea Solorzano. Present, teacher. Thank you, Jancy. <laughs> All right. We are more than ready. Estamos más que listos. Except Sandra. She cannot work right now. <laughs> She's not, you cannot work right now. <laughs> All right, let me show you the presentation. In the presentation, we have the topic that we're gonna practice today. Okay, here we go. This is class number 18. People, September is flying, yo. It's flying. September is going, it's going really fast. Just quatro, observen. Cuatro de septiembre. Qué rápido. All right, topic. How to use if and what clauses? Uh, as far as I can remember, uh, a few lessons back, I think we studied what clauses, right? Do you remember? Do you guys remember? No? What clauses? Well, that's okay if you don't remember. I'm not sure, teacher. You're not sure? Yes, I think it was in the first, the first, uh, on the first unit, yes, in the first class at the beginning of the module, we we studied what classes. That was like uh, two or three weeks ago. Hace como tres semanas fue eso. Yes. Es un tema que usamos uh, inconscientemente, eh, sí, sin, sin pensarlo. Ok, vamos a, uh, we're going to practice this topic later on. Let's begin with this. Oh, I already asked you how, how, how you guys are. Okay. Well, Sandra, how are you? In pain. Bad, All right, let's begin with this question. Do you remember anything about could? On Friday, we were practicing on how to use could. So the question is this. Do you remember anything about could? Yes, I do. Okay, yes, you do. All right. If you guys remember anything, please let me know what that is. Lo que, que es eso que recuerdan. I remember maybe it's something like I can, but it's a polos, a, a, a polite way to say can. Okay, it's a polite way to say can. Exactly, Marvin, you are right. You are right. Okay, if you compare can and could, we can use them in the same situations. The difference is that can is more common or informal and could tends to be very polite or as Martin said, formal. 
Yes. What else do you remember? It's about Lutz abilities. Okay, past. Past Pats. abilities. Past abilities. Yes. yes. Past abilities. Exactly. What else? What else? Well, let me let me write down what you guys say. Marvin said polite. Let's write polite requests. Jorge said uh, past abilities. What else? What else? There are three. I'm sorry? For permission. Okay. Mm, for possibility. Wait. There you go. Possibility of permission. Possibility of permission. What else? ¿Qué más? What else? Tell me. Pass inability. Excuse me. Past inabilities. Exactly. Past inabilities. Exactly. Past inabilities. All right. Past inabilities. What else? Uh huh. What else? No more? It's okay, it's okay. Okay, very good. Let me show you some examples of each part. Polite request, the polite request, it's a question. Okay, it's a question. Could you bring me uh, the book? All right, look. Could you bring me the book? Yes, that's a question. And you're asking for a favor. Could you bring me the book? Okay, that's a polite request. You're asking a person to do a favor for you in a very polite way. Past abilities is something that existed in the past. This activity does not exist in the present. Okay, or we, we cannot do it. All right, look, I... Could play the bass. Thank you, bass. El bajo. Yes. I could play the bass. Uh, let me tell you, I'm not sure how many years ago this was, but I, I played the bass in the past. And now I don't remember. So I can say I could play the bass. Now I can't. I can't. <laughs> I don't remember, to be honest. Passing abilities, let me see. I could, could not speak English. I could not speak English. Let me tell you, that was in, 2000, in 2009, 2010, 13, well, 12 years ago. Hace 12 años. <laughs> 12 years ago, I could not speak English. Now, I kind of can. Un poquito. Ahora un poquito. Look, you're asking your boss, could I, could I go early today? Could I go early today? You're, ask, you're asking for permission, but there's possibility. Or, ah, faltó una, mira, que nos faltó fue la posibilidad. Hay possibility. Teacher. Yes. En, en Pat's inabilities, um, <clears throat> I think it's, it's, it depends. Um, you are not able to. 
Ajá. Like, like I could not uh, leave the country. Yes. Right? Yes. But, but in your example, it's about um, que I can. I, I, I could not speak English, but now I can. Exactly. exactly. <clears throat> now, now it, it is a, it, it's a present ability. Yes. In these cases, I can use can. I can speak English. English. Yes. The inabilities is outside and, and inside of, of uh, personal. Es la inhabilidad es, puede ser externa o, 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 yeah. o interna de nosotros. Yeah, yeah. Sí. Ah, okay, okay. I could not okay. I could not live I could not live in the suburb three years ago. Yes. Mm -hmm. I can now. Okay. Ok, ok. Mira que lo, 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 lo puse en azul, no me gusta. No me gusta que esté en azul, tiene que estar en rojo. Así como esto, aquí, ah, sí, sí. <laughs> All right. A possibility is something that, you know, might happen or might not happen. It's just a possibility. Uh, they, they could get married. Ellos podrían casarse. They could get married, observen, possibility. We don't know. We're just saying that it is possible. Yes. Yes. All right. Okay, now. Do you have any questions about could? Dejar eso ahí para que podamos verlo. Do you have any questions about could? Teachers is um you say um the bird. I can use the different form. No, the verb doesn't go in in uh, in any other form form, but the base Present. form. Only the base form. You you oh. cannot change. Listen to this. You cannot change could, and you cannot change the verb. Okay. You can use could with any subject. I could. You could. She could. He could, it could, we could, they could. No difference. Could in all of them. And the same happens with the verb. The verb doesn't change. No S, no ING, no past form. It goes in the base form. As you can see, we got a bunch of verbs. Speak, get, go, play, and bring. All of them are in the base form. Yes. Okay. Good question. Thank you. Good question. Okay, people, uh, now it's it's uh, practice time. Let's practice providing an example using whatever you want. Possibility, polite request, past inability, uh, past ability, or possibility for permission. Whatever you want, give me an example. I'm here. Go. Go, go. Me, teacher. Yes, go ahead, Jorge. Excellent. 20 years ago, I could not drive a car. Okay, 20 years ago, I could not drive a car. Yes. All right. Past inability. Good example. Excellent example. Yes. Let's continue, guys. I could sing any song. I could sing any song. Okay, I could sing any song. Okay, any song, any song, sorry. <laughs> any song, I said it. All right, okay, the example is perfect. You have to give us a demonstration. Right, right, people? <laughs> yes. Now she can. <laughs> she will do it later on. Not sure. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
Okay. Hello, hello. People go. Para. Para I smart. could I could buy buy new car. Oh, buy a new car. Could buy a new car. Wow. You cool. Wow. Teacher, is yes. correct. Buy a new car or or buy a car, a new car. Buy a new car. Ah, okay. The one, okay. Some people say a brand new car. Dicen a brand new car. Brand es como un carro super nuevo. Es un nuevecito. Dicen, para decir nuevecito, un carro nuevecito. Yes, yes. De, pa de, pa de paquete. A brand new car. A brand a new cell phone. A brand new watch. A brand new computer. Nuevecita de paquete. <laughs> yes. All right. Carlos, Sandra, Raquel, Mayra, Andy, Diana, hello, everyone, Jancy, people, go. Hello, teacher. Um, uh, let me see. I could sleep more a few months ago. I'm sorry. <laughs> I could sleep more a few months ago, do you heard that? Yes. <laughs> Go ahead. I could eat seven pupusas. Sorry? <laughs> Ten years ago. <laughs> I could? <laughs> I could eat... I could... Yes, eat seven pupusas. Ten years ago. Is good ability. <laughs> wow. and, and now you can. <laughs> and now... Okay. I still can. <laughs> I, I, I still can this one. <laughs> all right, all right. Good ability. Good ability. <laughs> That's the reason why your leg sleeping. <laughs> Too much weight. <laughs> yes. All right. People, continue. Let's continue. Let me hear you. Diana, Raquel, Marvin, go. Carlos. They could, they could, they could sleep. Sure. They could sleep, yes. I could play the piano uh, five years ago. Okay, I could play the piano some, some years ago. And what happened, Marvin? I don't continue. <laughs> With the... Well, the, the same situation happened to me. I, I could play the bass, but then I didn't. I, I, I stopped practicing, and now I don't remember. I don't remember. All right, I'm waiting for my, uh, no, no, waiting for Raquel, for Diana, for Andy, and Carlos Eliezer. Jassy? People. Okay, teacher. Uh, I could do uh, all I could do Italian. I could do? I could do all I try to Italian. I cannot understand the last part. I could. I could go. See, I could do, I could do. Uh, hasta ahí I entiendo. could go. Can you, can you write it in the chat? Okay. Yes, yes. Thank you, thank you. Andy, Carlos Eliezer, Raquel. Mm -hmm. Teacher. Could you give me a uh, one thousand <laughs> dollar? Wow. Okay. No problem. Give me your account number. I'm going to deposit that money right now. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and I don't have. I don't have that money. I have uh, twenty cents. All right. People, thank you for the practice. Okay, this topic is a little easy to understand. You just need to continue practicing, okay? And you have to see uh, or, or identify what uh, what situation it is. If it is a past ability, past ability, past ability request, etc. okay? Yes. But like I said, this topic, we use it uh, subconsciously. We do not uh, unconsciously, sorry. We do it unconsciously or we, we use it unconsciously. We don't really think. Of, of the grammar rule
tools, we just use it, okay? The way we think it is correct. Let me show you the book. Can I go to the book right now? And this is on page number. Let me show you page number 45. If you ask me why we are on page number 45, uh, I do not really know why. <laughs> That's how my program is. Because we are supposed to work on page number 43. These pages, 43 and 44. Uh, but somehow, for some reason, the the program is twisted, yes, and or inverted. Today we're gonna work on uh, page number forty five and forty six. Tomorrow we're gonna work on forty three and forty four. So we're not skipping anything, okay? We're not skipping the topics. We're going to work on the topic tomorrow. Let's begin. We continue talking about, about company procedures and policies, and today we're going to talk about policies. We have talked about this before, so today we're going to continue talking about it. Look at the objective. I will be able to write a paragraph about policies and procedures joining clauses with when and if. Okay, this is the topic for today, when and if. Let me see what that, oops. I could go on a trip. Ah, yes, yes, exactly, exactly. I could go on a trip to Italy. See, sí, vaya, vaya, excellent. Go, go, no problem. <laughs> go, no problem. Look at the question. We got a question. Well, two questions. What happens if an employee in your company shows up late? What does show shows up mean, people? Do you know? Sorry, teacher. Can you move the mouse? I sleep my mind, teacher. Thank you. There you go. There you go. What, Veronica? I sleep my my. Why? No, that's not possible. <laughs> what happens if an employee in your company shows up late? What happens, people? Well, well, when I comes up late at my work, my boss is very angry with me. And I don't know why, because... <laughs> I don't understand. He doesn't what? know. He doesn't know oh why. He doesn't know why. Okay, and you don't know why. Yeah, your boss is bad. Yes. <laughs> All right. Let me ask someone else. Uh, Mayra, what about you? What happens if an employee in your company or if a worker in your company shows up to the company late? Oh, show up, people. Llegar. Llegar, okay. Show up, legal. Llegar, sorry. Um, my boss is uh, angry, very angry. Boss is very angry. Wow. Capaz me despide. Really? Well, I cannot Read. believe it. Read it, teacher. It's difficult, right? Very angry. Okay, Marvin, what about you, Marvin? What happens if an employee in your company goes or arrives late? And sometimes nothing happens. Only maybe my boss uh, take, take a note, but he, he doesn't say anything. And also it's because uh, a few employees go to, go to the office some, sometimes because uh, we work from home. We we work remotely. We maybe only go to the office uh, two two days of the of the week or three. Wow, fantastic! That's a good job. <laughs> Do you love it, Martin? Mm, not really. <laughs> I really love love working home, but uh, I think when you work uh, from 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 your house, you work uh 
to work more because sometimes uh, your boss say, okay, you can attend that customer in it's it's my hour of the end of my it's the hour it's 5 p.m. and I need to disconnect but my boss say well hope you are in your house you can attend it and when I am on the office I can say I'm sorry uh, I'm sorry I am I am taking the bus but in my house I don't have an excuse to say you uh, know I understand completely. Wow, yes. Well, I guess you are right. You work more. Uh, like you do not you do not have a working time a, a specific working time. You work every hour. Right? Yes, I understand your 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 situation right there. Well <laughs> in my case I love my job. Well, my jobs. This one and the other one I have at the school. Yes. They, they are easy. <laughs> they are easy. Let me see. Carlos Eliezer, what about you? Tell me, what happens if an employee arrives or shows up late at the company? Um, in my personal opinion, um, it's nothing interesting. Uh, we only say of the boss, um, hey, man, I need uh, one day or three hours. And he really he he does complicated complicated and and then complicated and uh, my uh, only that. Okay, I understand. I understand. That's okay. That's okay. All right. Uh, thank you for your practice. Let me continue with the second question. The second question. Uh, it's also easy. Let me see. Second question, what do you do when you are sick and can't work? What do you do when you are sick and you can't work? Tell me, guys, what do you do when you are sick and you can't work? Fall into my... my... Call your boss. Yes, call my boss and... I say I need to visit the doctor. Okay, and you tell him you need to, you need to go to the doctor. Okay, that's a good one. Yes, well, that's that the normal thing to do, right? Yes, Andy, what do you do? What do you do when you are sick and you can't work? Andy is not there. Raquel, what about you? What do you do when you are sick and you can't work? Well, she's not there either. Let me try with someone else. Let me try with uh, Mayra. Hmm, I don't remember when was the like time I called my boss and say hello. I don't work uh, because I sick. Um, um, it's rarely, it's rarely. Okay, I'm guessing. I'm guessing that was a long time ago. Yes. All right. Mm -hmm. I understand. Okay, people, excellent. Thank you for answering the questions. We are about to move on to the second part, part number two. In part number two, we have a conversation. And in the conversation, you can see that we are using when and if. We use it four times only. We use when two times and we use F two times. Let me read the conversation to you. If you have any questions about the vocabulary or the conversation, we can answer those questions later on. Hi, Annie, how is it going? Hello, Brad, I am fine. And you? I am okay, thanks. Look, 
I want to ask you, what does your boss do when a worker doesn't come to work? Well, if someone doesn't come, my boss call, calls, calls, calls him or her, and when the person returns, he or she receives a notification or warning. Why, Brad? Well, because I didn't show up to work yesterday. I understand. If you see your boss tomorrow, explain to him the situation. Yeah, I think I will do that. Thanks, Annie. Vamos a ir. Vamos a ver. Check the, the, the chat. I'm uh, correcting something there. Okay, there you go. I have corrected two, two uh, mistakes there. Yes. All right. Let's begin. Well, do you have any questions about the vocabulary, guys? Any questions? Hello, no questions? No question, okay. Let me let me read again. This time I'm going to do it slowly, okay? Slowly. Yes. Hi Annie, how is it going? Hello, Brad. I am fine. Thank and you? I am okay, thanks. Look, I want to ask you, what does your boss do when a worker doesn't show, show up with you, doesn't come to work? Well, if someone doesn't come, my boss calls him or her, and when the person returns, he or she receives a notification or warning. Why, Brad? Well, because I didn't show up to work today. I understand it. If you see your boss tomorrow, explain to him or explain him, uh, explain the situation to him. Yeah, I think I will do that. Thanks, Annie. Let's begin with the practice. Let me see. Let me choose two guys, two people, Raquel and Diana. People, go. Raquel, Diana. After me, teacher, okay? Okay. Hello, teacher. And Raquel. Okay, let's change things. Raquel is not available right now. Diana and Brian, go ahead. Yes, okay. Okay, I'm sorry. Hey, hi, Annie, how's it going? Hello, I am fine, and you? I'm okay, thanks, Luke. Uh, I want to ask you, what does your boss doing a work and it doesn't come to work? Well, if a phone call doesn't come, come my boss call a PO and where the person returns, he or she receives a notification or worry why brand. Well, because I don't show up to work today. I understand. If you should if you work tomorrow, explain the situation. Yeah, I think we'll do that. Thanks, Annie. Okay, thank you both for reading. Let's continue with two more uh, participants, Marvin and Jorge. Guys, the stage is yours. Okay, go, go ahead, uh, Jorge. You first. Oh. 
और है I think his microphone is not working. Well, fix, fix it, Jorge. In the meantime, Marvin and Veronica. Veronica, go. Okay, thank you. Hi, Annie. How is it going? Hello, Brian. I'm fine. And you? I'm okay. Thanks. Look, I want to ask you. What does your boss do when a worker doesn't come to work? Well, if someone doesn't come, my boss call him or her. And when the person returns, he or she receives a notification or warning. Why, why Brad? Uh, well, because I didn't show up to work today. I understand. If you see your boss tomorrow, explain him the situation. Yeah, I think I will do that. Thanks, Annie. All right, all right. Thank you, Marvin and Veronica. Let's carry on. Uh, well, let me, let me move on. I need to pick something up right now. Real quick. All right, uh, the participants are Sandra and uh, Carlos Eliezer. Okay, teacher. Hi, Annie. How is Hi, how is it going? Hello, Brad. I am fine. You? I am okay. Thanks. Look. I want to ask you, what does your boss do when a worker doesn't come to work? Well, if someone doesn't come, my boss call him or her, and when the person returns, he or she receive a notification or warning why. And well, because I didn't show up uh, to work today. I understand. If you see your boss tomorrow, explain him the situation. Yeah, I think I will do thank that. Thank you, Annie. Thank you both for reading. Let's continue. Let me see. Andy, are you there? I'm here, teacher. And Mayra. Okay. Okay. And, you go, Andy. <clears throat> okay. And um, hi, Annie. How is how is don't how is going? Hello, Brad. I'm fine. And you? I'm I'm okay. Thank thanks. Look, I want to ask you what does your boss do when a worker doesn't come to work? Well, if someone doesn't call my boss, call him or, or her. And when that person returns, he or she receives a notification or warning. Why, Brad? Well, because I didn't show, show up to work today. Oh, I understand. If you see your boss tomorrow, uh, <clears throat> explain the situation to him. And yeah, I think I will do that. Thanks, Annie. Thanks. Okay, thank you. Let me see who am I missing over here. What are you back? For some reason, we, we cannot hear you. I think your microphone is not really working. Try to get it fixed. Let's see. Raquel, are you there? Yes. Okay. Uh, let me see. Hello. 
Me, Christian. Okay, Christian, excellent. Okay, Raquel and Christian, go ahead. Okay. Hi, Hi and... You are Brad, Penny. Uh, Raquel, sorry. You start. Hi, Penny. How oh, is oh, it is going? Hello, Brown. I'm fine. You? Oh, okay. Thanks. Look, I want to ask. I want to ask you. What does your boss do when I work? At? Doesn't come to work? Well, if some someone does come, my boss call call him or her. And when the person returns, he or she receive a notification or warning warning with with brand. Because I didn't show up to work today. I understand if you see your boss tomorrow in play in the situation. Yeah, I think I will do to do that. Thanks, Annie. Okay, thank thank you both for that. Excellent. Let's continue, guys. Thank you for participating. And uh, we're going to do part number three. On part number three, we have an scramble activity. It says there, unscramble the statements below. We got three examples. Receives notification. She arrives. The employee went up. Your boss does work. What, uh, what do to go? Doesn't a worker call? I, my boss, don't work if do I show up. It has statements here, but there's only, there are only two statements. This is a question. A question is not a statement. So guys, let's go. I'm going to give you one minute per each. So that means you're going to have three minutes in total. Three minutes. Go. Vamos a ordenarlas, okay? Vamos a ordenarlas. I'm going to put them in order.
Guys, are we ready? Take it easy, teacher. I am taking it easy. <laughs> all right, all right. Go ahead. No problem. Let me know, okay, let me know. Okay, let's begin with number one. We have had enough time, so let's do number one. Uh, let me choose a person directly. <laughs> let me see. Raquel. No finished, teacher. You haven't finished? Okay. Mayra? Hello, teacher. Number one. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> teacher, I have allergy and my brain is not thinking well um, because I I. Como se dice, me tomé una pastilla para la alergia. Oh, okay, you took a pill for allergies. Oh, okay, I took a pill for allergy. Your brain is, <laughs> your brain is not braining. It's not braining. <laughs> um, but try, inténtelo. Vamos, let me see. Mm -mm, I don't know. Um, she arrives. Um, when the employee receive a note, I don't oh. know. Oh. Does anyone? Does anyone have has an idea? Does anyone know? Mm, if if. <laughs> Again, give me idea, again. When she arrives, the employee receives a notification. When she arrives, she receives a notification. When she arrives, the employee receives a notification. Okay, it sounds correct. Suena bien. Okay, let's leave it like that. Let's continue with the second one. The second one, I told you that it is a question, so let's work on the question.
Does anyone know? Teacher. Yes. Why receives is uh, with us. With us. Yes, because the subject is they, the employees. Or oh, I wrong. I am yes, wrong. You, you are you are mistaken, yes. <laughs> it's the employee, only one. It's only one. Ah yes. okay, okay. Okay. If you if, if it was plural, it would be the employees. S. S. But it is only one employee. So let's uno. Puede ser ella o él. Yes, sure. Sure. Thank you, teacher. Exactly. No problem. Okay. What's the second one, guys? Tell me. Tell me. Uh... Thank you. Thank you, Mayra. Exactly. Yes, you are right. You are right. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh -huh. The second one, people? Alguien que sepa, que inicie por lo menos. <laughs> what does, does, does your boss? What does? Does your boss? Mm -hmm. oh, what, yeah, what, does what, your what does? Boss? What does your boss? What does your boss? Yes. Do. We need a, but I don't see any. When? You don't see anything, Marvin? I think we need a if. Yes, you are right. Tiene mucha razón. Ya sea, ya sea if or when. What does your boss do? If a worker if doesn't don't, don't go to, to work. If work. doesn't work. If a worker does. There you go. Exactly. What does your boss do when a worker or if a worker doesn't go to work? You can use when or you can use if. No problem, okay? Both are correct. Excellent, excellent people. Good, Marvin. Very good, very good. Sandra and everyone. Number three. Call I my boss don't work if do I show up. What's, I what's the... I call my boss if don't to show up work. Uh... Yeah, what, what is the answer? What is the answer? Does anyone know? Call, call my boss if I don't to show up. I think it will be, I call, my boss, if, if, don't, hello. if, okay. or is it necessary another pronoun? Yeah, we have two. Tenemos dos. Uh, yes. Sorry. I call my boss I, if I. I don't. Okay. I don't. Uh, I don't. Two. No. No. I don't work. Show up. What I show up? <laughs> show up to work. Ah, uh -huh, there you go. Like I call my boss if I don't show up to work. I, sh I call my boss if I don't show up to work. There you go, there you go. All right. Very good people, thank you for participating. Let's go back to this. And let's begin. Ahí en la parte 3 veíamos cómo usábamos el if y el when, pero sin saber cómo, cómo realmente se usa. 
let's learn or let's practice about when or if clauses. What's a clause? ¿Qué es una cláusula? Well, easy. A clause is a sentence. Es una oración. It's a sentence that contains a subject, a verb, and a complement. Contiene sujeto, verbo, complemento. Okay? But what's the difference between a normal sentence and a clause? Or a statement and a clause? What's the difference? The difference is the statement stands alone. Or it is independent, the statement. And the clause is dependent. What do I mean when I say dependent? It, I mean we need another sentence to use the clause. The clause has no meaning by itself. Okay, es, si yo uso la cláusula sin, sin, una, sin otra oración, no se puede usar. No tiene significado, no tiene sentido o está incompleto. Tiene que haber una, una oración independiente para usar la cláusula que es dependiente, depende de la otra. Okay, that's the difference between Statements and clauses. Contienen lo mismo. Yes, they contain the same. Subject, verb, complement. The difference, I told you. Say statements, independent. Clauses, dependent. Yes. Questions, preguntas antes de iniciar. Okay, no questions. Take a look. If and when clauses. Espérame, aquí me equivoqué yo. Ah, aquí le puse what, miren. Sí, me acuerdo de lo... Aquí es when, no sé por qué puse what. <ríe> le puse what. And it's when, not what. We use if and when, I don't know. We use if and when clauses to talk about real things that happen in daily situations. We're going to be talking about the present. Acá estamos con el presente simple. Okay. También se puede usar con otra estructura, pero estaremos enfocados solamente en el presente simple. Simple present. Structure is the following. Subject, verb, complement. Esa es para la oración independiente. Yes. If, subject, verb, complement. Después del if sigue la oración dependiente, que depende de la otra. I ask, I ask for a backup set. ¿Qué significa ese backup set? ¿Alguien sabe? Excuse me, yo también. ¿Qué significa ese backup set? No. Sorry. No. Oh, backup, yes, but backup set. Recordar. Sorry. Recordar. Something like that. Un conjunto de respaldo. Eso, ajá, un set, un set de respaldo. Ok, o herramientas de respaldo. Like, they are not, they are not my main tools. Ok, they are not my main tools. They are just my backup tools. Like, uh, things you have just in case you forget your real tools. Yes. Es un set de herramientas uh, de respaldo. Yes. So, I ask for a backup set if or when I forget my tools. You can use if or when, no problem. Okay? Yes. Let me see. And that's the structure. Usamos presente simple en ambas. I ask for a backup set. I forget my tools. Yes. 
Another example, they check their email when or if they get a notification. Ellos revisan su correo cuando obtienen o reciben una notificación o ellos reciban, reciben, perdón, ellos reciben, perdón, ellos revisan su correo si reciben una notificación. Ok, so you can use when or if with no problems. They check their email when they get a notification or they check their email if they get a notification. So both are correct. The same structure, all right? Ahora, we can change, we can change the structure. Podemos invertir la estructura. Yes, we can do that, si se puede. Look, we begin like this. If or when plus subject plus verb plus complement. Al revés, okay, antes va la, la, la dependiente y por último la independiente. When I have a problem, I try to solve it myself. If I have a problem, I try to solve it myself. Cuando tengo un problema, intento resolverlo yo mismo. O si tengo un problema, intento resolverlo yo mismo. Es lo mismo. Okay, it is the same. Now, what's the difference with this inverted sentence? There is a punctuation difference. Hay una diferencia en puntuación. Vamos atrás. They check their email when they get a notification. No hay puntuación. Bueno, sí, al final. We got the full stop. The full stop. Full stop es el punto final. Full stop. And over here, si la cambiamos, si la invertimos, tenemos este resultado. And uh, we divide, we divide the sentences with the comma. Okay, see the comma right there? Well, that's what we do. We divide the sentences with a comma. Yes, another example, but I have more examples. Let's take a look at these examples I have here for you. Mauricio calls tech support when or if he has computer problems. If or when Sonia feels under the weather, she calls in sick. When or if she has a class, she uses her laptop. Veronica is happy when or if she sees her children. And the last one is for everyone. Es para todos, miren. We get happy when or if we get our payment. Do you have any question now? Teacher, uh, always um, is the bear is a base form. No, not really. Depende de lo que si usan si usan ella el y eso. Recuerden usamos la s. Number one, Mauricio calls. He has. Number two, Sonia feels. She calls, she has, she uses. Solo una está, está, está así con, con el verbo en forma base, que es we get. We get happy, we get our payment. Lo demás está con ese. Yes. Remember, it is simple present. Es presente simple. Yes. In third person, in third person singular, we use the S for she, he, and it. Yes. More questions, más preguntas? No? Okay, veamos, practiquemos. If I make a mistake, this if I make a mistake, si yo cometo un error, can you finish the sentence, people? I try to solve it uh, myself. <laughs> okay, I try to solve it myself. Another example? 
if I make a mistake, I try to resolve. I so try I try to, to fix. I try to I fix. Try it. To fix. Okay. If I make a mistake, I try to solve it myself or I try to fix it. Muy bien, muy bien. Veamos esto. When I have a when I have my break, when I have my break. I get happiness. I get happiness. Okay. I get happiness. When I have a, when I have my break, I get happiness. What else? I watch a video. I I watch I watch a video. Okay, I watch a video. Perfect. Perfect. What else? ¿Qué más pueden decir? I no I not hungry. <laughs> you get hungry. Le da hambre. I not hungry. Not. No tiene hambre. O no come. What do you mean? <laughs> no tengo hambre. Si come, okay. no tengo. You're not hungry. Okay, that's bad. I walk to my house when... When it's raining. When it's raining. Because it raining? the traffic is hard. Okay. Well, I understand that one, okay. But it's, the traffic is bad. All right. I walk to my house when, when people came out, came out. When I don't arrive on time for the bus. Okay, mm -hmm. when I'm not on time for the bus, what else? I, I, I leave the work. When I leave? No, I leave. Uh huh. When I need? Uh, no. Leave, 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 leave the yo. Leave oh, the, okay. Uh, yeah. Okay. All right, when I leave the job, all right? When I leave work. I walk to my house uh, when, oh, no, my, no. when my wife is happy. When your wife is happy? Yes. Okay. <laughs> All right. She learns faster when ella aprende más rápido cuando She focus. <laughs> when? Uh -huh, when she focuses. Focus. Ah, I hear you talk about that. When she studies. When she studies, okay. When she has a um, motivated. Okay, when she is motivated or when she has motivation. What else? Got it? When she listens to, to her teacher. Okay, when she listens to her teacher. One more. My boss gets angry if... Mi jefe se molesta o se enoja cuando... Perdón, si... I show up later. Okay, if I show I, up late. What else? I, I don't notify. Notif uh, notify. Notify. Mm -hmm. Notify. My absence. The absence. Yeah. Repeat it, repeat it. Absence. 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 Okay. Absence. What else? My what boss. else? Get us. My boss get angry if I don't answer your call. He his, his call. call. Okay, my boss gets angry when I don't, sorry, if I don't answer his call. I don't take his call. What else? ¿Qué más? 
I don't attend the, the meeting. Okay, if I don't attend the meeting. All right, we got it, we got it. Kind of easy, right? And the last one. My supervisor comes to the office when... <laughs> when he need to review um maintenance <laughs> uh -huh. when she sorry when she receives the, I, have to, the, I have to i have to i have to sup um i said a failure <laughs> Round for it. <laughs> My supervisor comes to the office when he needs Wait. to review my job. Okay. Okay. Yeah. When we have a problem. Okay. When we have a problem. Ahora, veamos. We're going to change the activity. We're going to continue with another activity. La siguiente actividad es esta. I need you guys to pay attention. Que escuchemos y pongamos un poco de eh, coco. ¿Qué dice el documento aquí? Coco, no. <laughs> coco, no. Coco, no. Ok. This is what we're going to do. This is for everyone that is available right now. If you guys are available for participation, okay, just go ahead, all right? Participate. Tenemos, let me see. We have, we have Sandra, we have Raquel, Raquel Andy, uh, Diana, Mayra, Veronica, Marvin, Jorge, Carlos, uh, I think Christian is also available. Well, no, no, no. Brian, I'm not sure. I am here, teacher. Oh, yes, I can see you now. Yellow, yellow and uh, I don't know about the other ones. Well, I'm going to read a question to you. And you are going to answer the question using when or if i'm not going to give you the question i'm just going to read the question you have to listen to the question and you're gonna write the answer as fast as you can Lo más rápido que pueda. yes and i'm going to repeat i'm going to repeat the question only three times tres veces three times do you understand the activity Yes. No teacher. No? Okay. Uh, over here, I have one, two, three, four, five. Five questions. I'm not going to read them all. Only two, I think. Two or three. I'm going to read the question three times. I'm not going to show you the question. I'm just going to read. You have to listen. And what you're going to do is this. You're going to answer the question. Yes. So you have to write your answer very fast. Do you get the activity? I get it, teacher. All right. Are you ready? No, but I had no, no choice. <laughs> anyway, no, anyway, no. anyway. No, you had no choice. Gone. All right. Let me start uh, the first time. <laughs> listen, teacher. Listen. listen. Teacher, yes, you need to take uh, water. Miro, no, no, Ana. Thank you, thank you, Sandra. Excellent. <laughs> All right. The first question What does the secretary do if she loses a file?
Again, Did what does the secretary fit? do if she loses a file? She, if she loses a file, she needs to find the file. Wait, you're going to share <laughs> the answer later. Okay, después la comparten la, la respuesta. Okay. One more time, one more time. What does the secretary do if she loses a file? Okay. Let's begin. Vamos a ver. ¿Qué tiene? What do you have? What you got? She needs to report to the to supervisor. What? Remember, you have to use if or when. Okay. If she lose a file, she needs to report to supervisor. Okay. If she loses. If she loses file, she need report to her supervisor. Okay, okay, we got it, we got it. Are you mass? Tristan? If she loses a file, she needs to search a file. <laughs> <laughs> okay, excellent, excellent. Yes, it's okay, it's okay. Yes. It's fine. All right, all right. Okay, teacher. If she loses a file, she needs uh, to share a new job. Yeah, exactly right. Yeah, she cannot lose files. It's not cool. <laughs> all right. More examples? Más respuestas? More answers? Let me hear you. Let's escucho. Yes, George. <laughs> Andy, hello, Raquel, Diana, Mayra, Carlos, Jorge, Marvin. Teacher, she, she loses a file, she needs to create a new file. <laughs> okay, that one is good too. Excellent, excellent. All right. When she loses a file, loses. she has to request again. Okay, when she loses a file, she has to request it again. Makes sense, makes sense. Okay. Alguien más? Marvin, Veronica, Mayra, Diana, Andy, Raquel, Carlos. If she lost a file, she needs to be honest to her boss. Okay, she needs to be honest with her boss, okay, or to her boss. Muy bien, muy bien. One more, una más. One more. Let me see. Okay, what do employees do when there is no coffee? What do employees do when there is no coffee? When there is no coffee in the office, they need to buy. Okay. Let me repeat, repeat one more time. Okay. I gave you some time to answer something now. I want to repeat it again to assure your answer. What do employees do when there is no coffee? There you go. There's no coffee, exactly. Coffee, coffee, yes. Cafecito. Okay. What do you have? What you got? Tell me.
I don't understand it. <laughs> what what do you understand? What don't you understand? Good evening, teacher. Hi, good evening. Um if there is no coffee, the employees goes crazy. <laughs> Okay, that's a good way. That's a win. I mean, when there is no coffee, employees go crazy. Yes, they go crazy. They go sleepy. When it's under coffee, they take a chocolate. They what? Sorry. They take a chocolate. Drink, drink. They, they drink. Yes. Ok, ok, we got it, we got it. Muy bien. People, ¿alguien más? When the employers don't get coffee, they got sleep. Ok, they get, they get sleepy. They get sleeping. Yes, they get sleepy. All right. Let's continue, people, with the book. Thank you for participating. We have limited time right here. All right, let's go over here. Look. Una vez más, leeremos lo que está acá. When and if have similar, have a similar meaning. Observen, tienen un significado similar. We use when for usual situations and if for unusual situations. Both clauses have to be in simple present. Use a comma when, if, or when come at the beginning. Examples. Leame Andy. Hello. Andy, lea primero. Okay, teacher. The first. Yes. And what do you what do you do when you forget your tool for work? Okay. What do you do when you forget your tool for work? That's a question. Observe cómo va when después ahí en medio. Yes. Marvin, read the second one. La que está abajo, Marvin. Okay. I ask for a backup set when I forget my tools. Okay, esa que mostré anteriormente en la, en la presentación. I ask for a backup set when I forget my tools. And uh, let me see. Raquel, lea el siguiente. When I forget my tools, I ask for a backup set. Okay, when I forget my tools, I ask for a backup set. Es lo mismo, pero al revés. Más bien la respuesta de la pregunta que está arriba. arriba. Ahora veamos, veamos con el if. ¿Cómo usamos el if? How we use if. Carlos Eliezer, can you read the question? Just to show. Thank you, Carlos. Uh, what do you do if you miss the company transportation? Okay, what do you do if you miss the company transportation? Excellent. Uh, let me see. Diana, can you read the first one? Call a taxi if I miss the company transportation. Okay, I call a taxi if I miss the company transportation. The next one, Ismael, are you there? Yes, teacher. Okay. The last one. Um, if I miss the company transportation, I call a taxi. Okay, if I miss the company transportation, I call a taxi. Yes, es lo mismo de arriba, solo que está invertido. Yes. Do you have any questions about when or if? No? Not this. Okay, perfect. Activity number four, and well, part number four is la última. It says there, write a, par a short paragraph about policies and procedures at your workplace. 
Use if or when to join classes. People, let's begin. You can say, for example, I work at a cell phone. When, when, look, when I arrive late, my supervisor calls, calls me up and asks me what the reason is. That is why I do, I don't like to go to work late. Y puedes continuar con la, puedes seguir con la, con la, con la fluidez del, del, del párrafo. Yes. Acá está un pequeño ejemplo de cómo pueden iniciar y cómo pueden conectar las oraciones con el when o con el que. People, let's go. Iniciemos. Go, go. <clears throat> no water. If you have questions, let me know. <laughs> if you have questions, let me know.
Guys, are you ready? Yes, I'm ready to show. Right here, we're gonna start sharing soon. Ok, iniciamos. ¿Quién inicia? A volunteer. Anyone. Thank you, Veronica. Excellent. Go. I work for a confetti company. When I arrive, arrive late at the company, if there is the traffic, when I ask for permission to be late, if the boss not, knows that there is traffic, that is it. Okay, that is it. All right, all right. Veronica, you choose another person. <laughs> da, 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 da. And the winner is. Let me and the, see. And the winner is. Raya.
Okay, it's not here. Hello. Shoot another person. How do you Diana. Okay, Diana. Okay, hello. Okay. Um, I am I am work uh young and the company where the punctuality is required um uh, when at the premise is required is must be done in the reality. You finish? You finish, teacher. Okay, okay. Let me tell you that it, it, it is difficult to understand. I think it's because your microphone is too close to your mouth or there is something my, like... My like yes. Okay. But thank you. Thank you. Excellent, Jana. Sorry, teacher. You pick it up. It, it's okay. Don't worry. Don't worry. Yes. Let me see. I, I choose the person because, you know, Marvin, go. Sorry. Okay, I work at a technology company. When I arrive to my job, I have to read all the emails. If I have a meeting, I need to prepare a presentation. If I are if I arrive late, I need to send a message to my boss in the reason. Uh, when I leave, I have to clean up my workplace. Okay, fantastic, Marvin. Excellent. Thank you. Thank you for your example. Okay, let me see. Andy, go, Andy. Andy? Okay, he's not, he's not there. Uh, let me see. Carlos Eliezer? Um, I'm here, teacher. Sorry? Um, um, I job in an industry company. Um, the police, the police, they say if you want to smoke, uh, you doing bad outside of the job. When somebody has tattoos, it's ne necessary, very, very necessary. Use the shirt very large. And if you don't have it, uh, nothing about this, you don't have any company. Okay, okay. Thank you, Carlos, for sharing your activity. Let me see, let me try with Jorge. I'm sorry, can you repeat? No, Jorge, Jorge. Yes. Oh, okay. Thank you, Carlos. Jorge, are you there? No. Ismael, are you ready? Yes, teacher. Okay, can you share? Okay, um, my work is about telecommunications. There are many things to do every day. I check mails when I arrive to work. If I don't, the request accumulate and it turns hard to resolve after. Some workers ask me for information if I don't send it early and they lose time. Every day I recollect information about the projects. And if I don't do it, when my boss asks me about the projects, I couldn't answer properly. It's very gratifying to complete a good work if I am involved in the whole process. All right, all right. Fantastic, fantastic. Thank you, Brian, for, I'm uh, sorry, Ismael, for sharing. Good. Brian, you're next, if you're available. Uh, 
and the end on the on the on the class or what sorry no no I, are you mentioned me did you finish the activity the activity did you do it in in this class no uh, because i'm i'm busy oh, okay you're, you're over there all right it's okay it's okay don't worry sandra go oh, okay thank you okay in my case if i don't press another people i don't have a result in my goals when don't have a goals i'm going to a stress What? You didn't hear me. Yes, I did. Let me show it. Yes, it's very short. <laughs> it's it's okay. It's all right. Yes. <laughs> Let me see. Mayra, are you ready? Yes, teacher. <clears throat> um, I work in a clinical laboratory. When I need a day off, I have to notify my boss. A few days before, um, my boss called me when I show up late and ask me what happened. And when I lost a doc document, I have a backup copy. Okay, it's okay. Fantastic, fantastic. Thank you, thank you for sharing. Let me see, Raquel. Yes. Go. And, and I arrive, arrive late to my work sometimes because there is a lot of traffic more when they are holidays about policies at my workplace is if provide okay thank you for sharing Raquel excellent let me see Christian did you finish yes teacher okay share please if I have a problem I talk with my mom about that but when she does a other thing, I talk with my girlfriend because when I need anything, she always says say for me because if she has a problem, I always try to resolve. All right, all right. Finish. Excellent, excellent. Wow. <laughs> okay, thank you for sharing, Christian. Excellent. Thank you, thank you very much. All right. I think we do not have more participants. I'm not sure. Andy? And he's not there. Oh, wait. Okay, okay. We we got it. We got it. Very good, people. Uh, we have finished. Okay, microphone problems. I understand. I understand. He has microphone problems. Guys, we have finished. Uh, let me share a PDF file with you all. This activity is not mandatory, you know. I'm just going to share it with you just in case you want to practice later on when you have free time. you get it? Yes, teacher. Okay, it's an activity about about okay. what and if. If you guys have ch the chance to practice or to do it later on in the future, you can do it, okay? It's there. Yes. Yeah, we cannot hear you, Andy. No escuchamos nada. We cannot hear you. 
Okay, people, we have officially finished today's class. We will continue tomorrow. Remember, Wednesday is the last day. Les digo en español, para el día miércoles tendremos la, la encuesta que se hace cada, cada, en cada módulo, a fin de módulo. Esa encuesta es para el día miércoles, ¿ok? Usualmente se inicia a las 8 y 20 o 8 y media. Uh, así que ese día hay que estar temprano. Y recuerden ese día estar todos participando sin, sin ser oyentes. No ser oyentes ese día, porque para poder hacer la encuesta todos juntos, ¿ok? Sí, sería lo más seguro a las 8 y 20 la encuesta, 8 y 20. Así que estemos listos con, con toda la información. Y el link para ese día es de preferencia usar una computadora, una laptop, ya que en el teléfono es un poquito más, más complicado de, de, de escribir y de copiar y de pegar todo lo que vamos a hacer. Así que de preferencia una computadora o laptop para poder hacer la encuesta. Ok, para el día miércoles. Yes. Ok, sure. Si aún no la han recibido, no se preocupen, la van a recibir el día de mañana. La van a recibir el día de mañana. El día de mañana. Ok. Let me take attendance. Ana Victoria Galán no estuvo. Andy Ernesto Martínez. Andy is here, but we cannot hear him. Brian David Ramírez. Present, teacher. Thank you, Brian. Carlos Alberto Orrego no estuvo. And... Uh... Carlos Eliezer Dimas. I'm here, teacher. Thank you. Christian Alexander Rivera. Present, teacher. Thank you, Christian. Uh, Denise Alejandra Zúñiga estuvo, pero se fue y se fue después. Diana y Amilet Maravilla. Present, teacher. Thank you. Edwin Heriberto no estuvo. Ismael Ernesto Boyar. Present teacher. Thank you, Jorge. Jorge Ernesto Hernández. Marvin Jose Cortez. Present. Thank you. Mayra Elizabeth Lazo. Present teacher. Thank you, Paola Geraldine Santa María. Present. Thank you. Thank you. Raquel Elizabeth de la Rosa. Present. Sandra Ives Mendoza. Present teacher. Sara, okay, thank you. Sara no estuvo. Verónica Lizeth Portillo. I'm present. And uh, the last one is Yancy Andrea Solortano. People, uh, thank you very much for joining today's session. It has been a pleasure. It has been a pleasure. Guys, I will see you tomorrow. Take care and have a good night. Descansen. Cuídense. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Good night. Thanks. Good night. Bye. Good night, everybody. Bye. everybody. Take care. Bye, dog. Thank you, Sandy. Thanks for everything. Yeah. <laughs> Take lemonade. Bye. Lemonade. Oh, it's a good. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Bye bye. bye, -bye. bye, -bye. Hey guys, uh, we're gonna quickly review if and when.
if and when can be used in the same structure. We can use them interchangeably to express pretty much the same. Let me show you how we write down sentences or no. Let me give you just the beginning or the ending of the sentence and you're gonna add the rest of it with whatever you want. It's going to be uh, up to you, all right? When the manager arrives, comma, I need you guys to complete the sentence with whatever you want. Yes. If Russell goes to the meeting, comma, he, and you can write whatever you want in the answer. Excuse me. Whatever you want in the answer. Space, if I don't finish on time. You can write whatever you want at the beginning, no problem. When she, when she calls me. Again, you can write whatever you want in the sentence. If the new branch opens next week, we Hold on, let's about that off that one. When the teacher assigns tasks, the students space, you can write whatever you want. If I don't take the medicine as is, wait, I need to number them. So one, number two, number three, four, five. Six, seven, let's carry on. Eight, if she sends the report on time. Again, you can write, you can write whatever you want at the beginning or at the end. It is totally up to you. Excuse me. Number nine. When my coworker don't my coworkers don't do their tasks, you can write whatever you want at the beginning. Remember, it has to make sense. It has to make sense. You have to think about the answer. When when I go attend the seminar, the workshops, workshops. Space. 
So over here, I have 10 examples that are not completed. What you, have, what you guys have to do is complete them with whatever you want, whatever information you want, but it has to make sense. It has to make sense. Let me help you out with the first one in that way you can see how it goes. When the manager arrives, When the, when the manager arrives, the employees behave well. There you go, that's what you're going to do. That is my example. You can write whatever you want there, all right? People, excellent. All right, that's the activity. See you later on.